Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. In the last episode, we beat Koga of the Future City Gym. Now we're taking on Sabrina of the Saffron City Gym. I'd say I am uh, kind of intimidated actually, to be honest. I don't really like this lineup. Alright, right off the bat, you already know what Pokemon I'm going to pick first. All the way down here. Where are you? There you are. Just because of the fact that you have pin this way. Um, as you all may may know, uh, Sabrina uses psychic type Pokemon, and the best way to go about it is to have some bug types. Oh, that's. Why is Beedrill not classified as flying? That annoys me because he's bug and poison. What about bug and flying? Ugh. Okay. So, I try to go with the more diverse team rather than, like, uh, try to pick Pokemon that were, uh, bug types. So, we got Jolteon, Slowbro, Marowak, Flareon, Porygon, and Pidgeot. I only hope that it works for me. Okay, maybe it can't work. Alright. Someone had a Psychic. Ah, uh, Of course it would be Porygon that had a Psychic. Oh, oh, never mind. I can use uh, Pidgeot. Because I'm going up against uh, three fighting type Pokemon. Uh, two Pokemon are weak to ice. Although, I don't have a Pokemon that has an ice move. Um... Huh. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go with... It might be a bit of a risk, but Porygon and, uh, and Spellbro. I'm just setting up Pidgeot first because, like I said, there are a couple different uh, fighting type Pokemon here. Yep, see? And I just have that, uh, just that one, like, uh, flying type move would just fly. It flew up into the sky! Look how small this gym is. Or, look how dark it was there. What the heck are we fighting on? Look at the floor! It's like translucent! Here comes the aerial attack. Super effective. I don't know if that's just a part of the gym or it's still biting in top. What a furious. I don't know what I don't know what's going on with the floor. I don't know if it's like my game messing up or if it's like I don't know, it just looks weird. And it's down! I made some quick work in chop, I have to be honest. We're waiting for the next I'm not fighting. exactly sure why you would want to pit your fighting type Pokemon against psychic oh, types. Trevor. By the way, I just love these nicknames. Aren't they so riveting? The Pokemon are entirely I mean types. I mean honestly, it's just like the Pokemon's names only in lowercase. <laughs> oh so really? You're gonna hyper beam me back? Don't do that. Oh wow, I didn't even do that much. Great, now we're gonna spend like an entire turn just recharging. Look at this. <laughs> he made the announcer repeat himself. It can't make a move. It can't make a move. What's this? I just love that we have like an entire turn where we just do nothing. Oh, it's now. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Alright, what we got? Oh, it's Maggie! The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. Yep, just like get the same treatment that you did to Machop. Just fly at him. 
Seriously, I'm so boggled by the floor of this gym. I know it's like a minor thing, but it's just so weird. I haven't played this game in a long time, or more especially, I haven't played any of these gym leaders in a while. So I don't know if this is just a part of the... I don't know, maybe I guess the thing here is that, you know, since she's psychic, I guess it's like... I don't know, but it's just like weird. Whatever, I'll 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 get past it somehow. But I'm just so boggled by that. It's like the serving sort of Pikachu all over again. Alright, what do you have? I'm guessing you have poisons? Oh no, never mind, you have uh, fire. I don't know who I was thinking of. Like you had No I'm thinking of the rockets. Oh okay. Okay, because I remember, like, you fought burglars in, uh, Pokemon Mansion and, uh, Cinnabar. Luckily, we have, uh, uh, water type here, so... Yeah, there's just, like, fire. Oh, it's all fire! Oh! Well, it makes it easier for me, then. Uh, yeah, Slowbro, uh, Slowbro, Marowak, and... Um... Um... Uh, Why not Porygon? Just send that slow bro first. That's all that matters. Oh, <laughs> well, he just like sits there. Alright. Give him ah. Oh, whoa, 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 don't do that. I'm pretty sure Slowbo's defense is. Yeah. I knew it. Slow has pretty good defense, so that's good. Whenever I see Hyper Beam, I almost get instantly worried. Hey, like Give him another surf. I know it's a bit of overkill, but why not? It can't make a move. It can't make a move. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of Hyper Beam so far. I don't know if this is going to be like a recurrent thing. Which Pokemon is coming out? Something I probably should uh, mention at some point in this Let's Play are probably the Pokemon cards, because I know some of you are probably just wondering about that. Like, do I play the Pokemon trading card game or collect them? I used to. I used to do a bit of both. Um, Unlike most people, I didn't I didn't trade my cards at all. I just bought them. Yeah, how boring is that? And usually, whenever I'm into Pokemon, it's usually like it's just me by myself, really. You know, forever alone. Boo hoo hoo. But it's true. I mean, like uh, you're probably wondering how you completed your uh, Pokedex if you didn't trade. Well, I got all three games, so I just basically traded with myself off of this game. What the heck? Yeah, it wasn't a headbutt at all. He's just like, just like charging at him. Uh, but anyway, um, I did play the Pokemon card game for a while with my cousin, like, so many years ago. And you know what the the sad and weird thing is? That, like, I, I not, not only did I... Ah, oh, he's going to get me right here. Is he? Oh, I anyway. I thought I was gonna kill him right there. Yeah, I'm just like using Dick to mix things up a bit. But anyway, like I said, I bought all my Pokemon cards. So, I sort of knew how to play the game. I just didn't know how to play like the advanced versions. The longest time, whenever I played it with my cousin, Brandon, um, yeah, me and him, we would just like, oh, really? Yeah, you know what, I'm just like switching out with Marowak. Because I want to get a t uh, TKO for some reason. I don't know, it's just in me. But like I said, I bought all my cards. I didn't trade with them. I don't remember if he had any cards back then. Uh, at the time that we played. But, um... I remember oftentimes, whenever I brought my cards over to his house, uh, when, when I slept over there. Um... Yeah, basically we just used all my cards just to play. What <laughs> And we didn't even like customize any decks, we just like... Ah, there's so, so much for my TKO. 
but um, yeah, basically, we we just played together for a while, and um, yeah, we just used like a like a bunch of cards, like we just like swept from my own deck. I had like a big old box of Pokemon cards that I eventually gave to my little cousin. So, is Vulpix really gonna get me? That'd be so humiliating if I just like died. I just want to kill him. Come on, get him. This is fucking. How is it missing? Oh wait, it used double team, didn't it? I, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh boy. Ah, uh, this is like Erica all over again. Ah, uh, slow bro, he's gonna get. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna die. It's Erica all over again. Yeah, slow bro just took it like a boss. Uh, I was really afraid I wasn't. Uh, I can't believe I lost to a friggin' Vulpix. I did so well! I screwed you, double team. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we're finally back. So I switched out Pidgeot with Bureau. Uh, just because one, it knows Swift, and two, it's a flying type. I also uh, brought aboard Jinx. So, yeah, I, hopefully. Hopefully, this is a better lineup. I hope. Anyway. Yeah, it's the same situation with Erica that I had. We're we'll gonna have to play this match over again. Alright. I'm sorry I'm off my A game here, to be honest, because I just came back from uh, a yearbook reunion for my high school. I know that's like no excuse to be, like, uh, sort of out of the game, so to speak. But yeah, like, you know, I uh, grouped up with a couple of friends of mine, we had a good time. Went out for pizza afterwards, you know, just sat in the car. So it was pretty fun. I, I just came back from it, like, uh, about an hour or two ago, so... Plus, I already uploaded episode one by this point, so... I pretty much recorded, like, the past couple episodes last night. Anyway, we're back at this fight again. Aww, you punk. You couldn't right throw me a bone here. Alright, whatever. I forgot... I forgot which one is better, Firo or Pidgeot. <laughs> I love that little spin there. I actually did a pretty good hit. Oh. Oh. Neither one is to All right, let's game. see. Let's use Swift. They go into battle pose. I don't know if this will take him out. Probably not. That's a good hit. Nope. What is he gonna use? Take down? Yeah, he's gonna die from this. What do I do? Boom! And boom. Luckily I did recruit like a uh, Luckily, I did recruit a psychic Pokemon, so we don't have to worry about uh, Porygon being in danger of anything, really. Um, okay, this is the point where I'm going to switch out with Jinx. Alright, let's go for the classic Ice Punch. Am I gonna freeze him? 
super effective. Uh, no, but I did a good hit on him. Is he gonna? Yeah, he's. I don't know if I'm gonna live. It doesn't look like it. Oh, never mind. Dude. Both Pokemon have taken heavy damage. Yeah, no duh. Jinx is about to drop. I've been using Jinx a lot in this let's play, I just noticed. Seriously, Jinx is a true lifesaver here at times. She really is, or he. I know like a lot of people like to make the joke that uh, the male Jinx is like that one guy from Dragon Ball Z. I forgot what that guy is. Like, I'll be honest here. Um, I don't really follow Dragon Ball Z. I never watched it when I was a kid. Like I said, like a lot, a lot of my childhood was like spent playing Pokemon Stadium and watching the anime. So that's the reason why I don't really know that much about Yu-Gi-Oh or Dragon Ball Z or any anime or any anime outside of that. Although, like the only other anime I've seen besides Pokemon. Um, I'm trying to think at the top of my head. Uh, I think it's just Inuyasha, really. Oh my god, I watched the shit out of Inuyasha when I was a preteen. Uh, as, like, as dorky as it is to say. Am I uh, sort of ashamed to admit that I did watch uh, Inuyasha when I was a preteen? A bit. I'll admit. Uh, I'm, a, I'm ashamed a bit. Uh, solely because of the fact that, like, you know, it, it's like one of those, like, it's like, well, I don't know how to compare it because I'm, I don't really watch anime, but one word I can describe it as is probably, uh, soap opera, soap opera. Oh, no, please, please, oh. That's a myth. Gave me a heart attack there. Whoa, like a bad Pokemon Please not. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. Just. I'm just gonna dig for good measure. Aw, oh, he's probably gonna get me. Please don't. Please don't. Thank you, God. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, like, one word if I had to describe Inyasha would probably be so proper. Look how glaring that is. Like, the floor is sort of see-through, but yet, Slowbro is, like, digging in it. It still weirds me out like that. It's like some of the floor glass? It just looks so weird. I'm sorry, but I won't get over it. Uh, I knew, like, a couple of people who actually did watch a lot of Inuyasha at the same age that I was watching it. I was watching a lot of it in middle school, and uh, I think it might have been the appropriate age. I th yeah, I think like a lot of people who did watch Inuyasha watched it in their preteens. Was I one of those people that were totally invested in the show? Back then I was, uh, not so much now really, because I started rewatching like uh, both Pokemon and Inuyasha at the same time. Uh, one thing I could say about Inuyasha is that it just drags on too long. And they just nerfed a lot of like the main characters' like abilities. And there was, uh, they didn't really much like nerf it, but they just made the, mil uh, the villains more powerful. Which is so friggin' annoying. Just because of the fact that it has to drag on the series a lot longer than it should. And like the main series? Holy crap. It like I would, I would pretty much like to say that it sort of jumped the shark a bit. Like at the end of the main series. If you want like a full conclusion, there's like an entirely separate series that you need to watch in order to like you know get your full conclusion, which is so dumb. I don't know why it's like split up like that, to be honest. And I know it's supposed to be uh, fangs, or uh, it's supposed to leave like fans hanging on, you know, like making their own sort of speculations and whatnot. You know, what happened to the main character? How do I get to go? Ah. Uh, okay, that was a dumb dumb move right there. I should I should just use surf. 
Yeah, he's gonna get me right here. Thank God it was a critical hit, and thank God Slowbro's defenses are pretty great. Anyway, um... It's so stupid how it was like split up into two series, but even then, the, like, like the seventh series is like, I think it was like, I think it was like 27 uh, episodes long, so, oh my god, it just dragged on a lot longer than it should, even with like the separate series. It's, it's totally not like, I don't know if it's like, the, the second series is taken straight from the manga. It probably is, but really, it just, uh, it just drags on so long. It's just like so ridiculously long. But anyway, um, a lot of poison and ghost types. So, one solution for that is to use Jinx. Another one is to use Porygon. Um, what about the... Let's see. Um, Marowak. And as far as like Pokemon goes, all of you have seen the anime probably, like growing up. Um, the uh, the Pokemon anime that I watch is like the old stuff. Like I have like the entire like first season on uh, DVD. And I didn't know there was like a couple more episodes on Netflix, but I only realized that it was just like the segue episodes into uh, the Orange League. And uh, I don't know like... I don't know if like the, uh, the Orange League is a real thing in, uh, in the manga, or what am I saying? Yeah, I don't know where the... Orange League came from, to be honest. Because, I know, there's like the Kanto League and whatnot. Where does the Orange League fit in at all? I don't know, it's probably just like a sort of like... I guess it's like a sort of made-up thing, like strictly for the anime. Uh, just transitioning into Johto. So, I didn't watch any of the, uh... I didn't watch any of the Orange League episodes, aside from like the ones that... Uh oh, it's confused. Oh, great, I'm confused and I'm poisoned. I'm guessing this trainer strategy is just a poison. So I'm just gonna switch out with Porygon. Get rid of that confusion. But, um, yeah, I, that's the most I've watched of the Pokemon anime, as far as, like, binge watching and, like, following up on the series goes. I'm only followed up to that point, to be honest, like, um, I did watch a bit of, like, the later seasons, um, but not as much as, like, you know, uh, really, Poison? I know it's not, like, a par uh, paralysis thing, but really, it's just kind of annoying, especially if you're po- ah, uh, really? Especially if you're Pokemon- well, I, you know, f it. I'm just gonna switch back to Jinx. They go into battle that confusion is like worn oh, off. Oh no! Oh, he's probably gonna use Confuse right here. No, it's Will it be okay? Will it be okay? What's that? There, it's a hit. Okay. But anyway, oh, like I said, I did watch a bit of like um, I did watch a bit of like the other. God. Gengar, huh? Like I said, I did watch a bit of... Yes, alright. I did watch a bit of... the other seasons of Pokemon while I was growing up. Although I didn't watch, like I said, as much as... I have, like, the Kanto region. Because that's basically what I've grown up with, and, you know... I'm pretty sure... You know, there might be some differences with, like, the Pokemon anime over the years, but really, Whoa, in my opinion, down. like, Ash's story with Brock and Misty, always classic. Uh, it's just like, Pokemon to its Pokeball. I need Jinx a bit. Oh, it's Will it be okay? This is such an annoying match because of the fact that 
Gengar knows Confuse Ray. All these Pokemon know Poison and Confuse Ray. It's like having a combination of Leech Seed and Poison Powder. What that Ven uh, what that Venusaur had. Okay, at least he didn't use Confuse Ray that time. But he's still friggin' like sapping my HP, which doesn't help at all. Come on, at least take him out. Come on. Yes, thank you. Yeah, finally. Uh, but yeah, uh, upon rewatching uh, the old seasons of Pokemon, uh, that's where I get my whole, like, you know, the Ash is annoying bits from. But, like, I know what I'm talking about. Like, I did rewatch the anime. God. Uh, yeah, I did rewatch the anime a ton. And I didn't binge. Uh, I didn't binge watch on Netflix. I didn't know it was on Netflix until like I just like clicked on to uh, check out what was new or whatever. I should probably also elaborate a bit on. That's gonna take me out right here. Ah. That's the first time Jinx has been knocked down in this let's play. Although his hair just like, uh, like disappears. This might be a close match, to be honest. I'm sorry I'm sucking so bad. It's just that the first generation doesn't give you that much to work with as far as like, uh, countering psychic types goes. Hopefully this boomerang should do it. Yes! Alright. Holy crap! What was that, my third trainer that I beat? I think it was. Alright. One more. And then this Let's Play is over. What are we running at here? 37 minutes. It's probably gonna get shortened out anyway. Yep, just as I expected. Lots of psychic. Lots and lots of psychic. Alright. There are two that are affected by fire. Do I have any fire? Yep. Um. Uh, Marowak. However. Well. Whatever. Let's see. Jolteon, you're going out. Uh, Marowak, you're going out. And, um. Firo, you're going out. Sabrina. Dude, I have to say, speaking of the anime, Sabrina is such a freaking boss here. Alright, let's use Pin Missile. I don't know why I showed my Pokemon there. I already told you what I had. Whoa, look Looks like a bad Pokemon Aw, oh, come on. You can do more than that. Uh, you gonna poison me too? The poison will slow that the strength! Oh please don't tell me you're gonna do the same thing the medium did. Please don't have confused raid. I implore you. Sabrina, don't be that guy. Don't be that girl rather. Perfect day! Oh. One more hit. Alright. Oh, really? Okay, that's even worse. That's even worse than having confused Ray. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, just keep spamming Pin Missile. Keep spamming it. Serena's episode in the anime, I have to say, it's so creepy. Just for the fact of that, you know, she has this, like, doll that's, like, the other half of herself, and then, like, the real Sabrina is just this, just this inhuman, like, monstrosity of a person, which is so friggin' intimidating. If I had to go against Sabrina on my Pokemon journey, I'd probably sh my pants as soon as I saw the doll. 
I'll be like straightforward. Sabrina is pretty cute. I'll admit. You know, maybe not as cute as Misty. Well, well I don't know. There's a fine line between being sexy and cute. What that fine line is really, really no one really knows. I don't know, really. Uh, I sort of wonder about that myself. I don't know why I'm questioning this. Did I just switch out to Marowak? Yeah, I did. Why did I do that? Yeah, why did I do that? Why did I do that? No, 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 no. Why the f did I do that? Oh, I'm so out of it. I'm sorry. Okay. You know what? I think maybe fighting type is good against us. So, yeah, I'm just gonna use a uh, double kick here. This game will really test your knowledge of Pokemon. It, it truly will. Ow. Oh wait, am I not seated anymore? I just realized, I'm probably not seated. No, I'm not. I know it's because I killed, uh, Executor or what? And there... Aw, oh, I forgot, I was facing Sabrina. I was about to say, and there goes the battle. Anyway. Alright, in between episodes, I'm definitely gonna let you know what's the fine line between being sexy and cute. I'll let you guys know, you know, don't like it's a, you know, it's a question that cannot be answered or whatever. So, in the next episode, we are going to the Cinnabar Island Gym. And who's the leader? Blaine. Just something from that name tells me that he's going to be a fire type trainer. And you can pretty much see above his tower that he has like a fire thing going on. So, in the next episode, we're going to tackle the Cinnabar Gym Tower. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Alright, before I end the video off, um, yeah, I found out a bit of a difference between what's being sexy and what's being cute. Alright, let me read it off of this little vlog here, um, I just googled it up online. Uh, cute. A girl who is lovely and dreamy and cuddly and shy and beautiful and, ah, jewels. Now, sexy. Supposed to mean sexually attractive, however, recently has become a word of ambiguous meaning that morons use when unable to think of a better adjective for something they like. Uh, pretty. A girl who has physical appeals that attracts a guy. And a girl can also be pretty inside in her feelings and her beliefs. Now, beautiful. This is a really good one. Beautiful is a woman who has a distinctive personality, one who can laugh at anything, including themselves, who is especially kind and caring to others, she is a woman who, above all else, knows the value of having fun and not taking life too seriously. She is a woman that you can trust and count on to brighten your day. She is a woman who can inexplicably make you feel really good just by being around her, and yet brings such great sadness when she is gone. She is a woman who I will never really get to know. Um, yeah, that's the, um, that's uh, a pretty good uh, description of, uh, What's the difference between being sexy and cute? It's by uh, thoughtcatalog.com slash Chris Hudspeth. Uh, uh, yeah, just yeah, just Google it up. Uh, um, uh, just food for thought, I suppose. Weird to end the video off like that. But um, anyway, I just uh, found that out. So, yeah.